Okay, so we're going to talk about uh, valence electrons and Lewis dot diagrams here in this video. So a valence electron, which we're going to abbreviate VE, are electrons in the highest occupied energy level of the atom. And we'll explain what that means here in a second. The Lewis dot diagram is a method for representing the number of valence electrons in an individual atom. Okay, so let's let's explain what a valence electron is. This is the electron configuration of boron. And boron has five electrons and has an electron configuration of 1s2, 2s2, 2p1. Now the highest occupied energy level is energy level 2. You can see that there are three electrons in energy level 2, in 2s2, 2p1. So since there are three electrons in the highest occupied energy level, we say there are three valence electrons. So that's what a valence electron is, the electron in the highest occupied energy level. Now, boron has three valence electrons, so we can represent this with a Lewis dot diagram. What we do is we write the element symbol, which for boron is B, and then put three dots around the element symbol. Those dots represent the valence electrons. Now, if you remember from when we learned about electron configuration, there's a distinct pattern in the periodic table. Everything in the first column ends with S1 which means it's going to have one electron in the highest occupied energy level and it's going to have a Lewis symbol or a Lewis diagram with two, with one electron. Everything in the second column ends in S2. It's going to have two electrons in the highest occupied energy level and therefore everything's going to have a Lewis symbol or a Lewis diagram with two dots around it. Now this will hold true for the entire D block because the D block goes down in energy level and the F block. When we get over to boron's column, the last term will be S2P1. That, that means there will be three electrons in the highest occupied energy level. The uh, Lewis diagram will have three dots. Then it goes S2P2, four electrons in the highest occupied energy level. There will be four valence electrons, and therefore the Lewis symbol will have four dots. S2P3, five valence electrons, five dots on the Lewis diagram. S2P4, 6 and 6. Okay. S2P5 will have 7 valence electrons and therefore it will have 7 dots. You should notice that there's never more than 2 dots on any one side of the symbol. That's how the Lewis uh, symbols are drawn. And then finally S2P6, which will have 8 valence electrons and 8 around. And that's the maximum number of valence electrons an atom can ever have. That's the noble gas column. And this pattern will hold true for the entire periodic table, except for one element, helium, which only has two electrons in 1s2 configuration, so therefore it has two valence electrons and has a Lewis symbol with only two dots. This is valence electrons and Lewis dots.